You can hear all of the heavily armed police going in right now. I think they've gone, and that could be they, they could be stunned. It does guns. look like they are storming the building at the moment. We're seeing a lot of flashes uh, of gun. Looks like gunfire. There's that hostage up there. And we can see that hostage being taken away now. That was the hostage, the seventh one, we believe, So from 12 tonight. in total. And the cameras are being told to get Please right get back. Please get back onto the other side of the road. And we shouldn't just we shouldn't just assume all of that was gunfire, Natalia. There's quite a large chance that it was uh, stun grenades mm -hmm. uh, designed to create. We are hearing that live ammunition was used. We are hearing those reports from police. And here comes another hostage out of the building now. You can see a woman there being cared for by the police. She's been brought down the hill from the cafe and taken away. Police have confirmed to us that live ammunition was used. So things were obviously getting very, very tense inside that cafe indeed. We saw six hostages come out, then we saw a seventh come out, and then quite dramatically the police went in. We believe they used stun grenades, but we also believe they used live ammunition, and it was quite violent they seem and quite to be, crazy. They seem to be signalling towards other officers. We don't know exactly what they are It looks like they for. want something. It looks like they want ambulance. We know. And they look like they're paramedics going in there now in the different uniforms in the blue. Look like they're going in to help. This is extremely dramatic. After seven hours of, of, of nine hours, sorry, of nothing really happening at all, all of a sudden. And this is now the 17th, that we're heading into the 17th hour of this situation and only moments ago... Uh, this has all started to happen. If you are just joining us, we know that uh, we believe Looks about as another hostage hostages. being taken up the hill there. Another lady being taken away. Which would be making that, I'd, I would say, nine now, just in the last few moments that, that, that have we've come seen. Out, I'd say that's seen. nine that we've seen. But, the, but there could be more we haven't seen. We know that Not earlier five came out. And the police but, are now in the building, as well as paramedics. So it appears as though... Okay, the hostage has either been maimed or disarmed or possibly even worse, the, uh, the perpetrator, I should say. And there's more gunshots here. I think that was a flurry nobody expected. Now that ambulance and the like are inside that building, there was another flurry Excuse of me. gunfire. Excuse me, sir. Moments ago, it was very quiet in Martin Place and then this has just erupted all of a sudden. A number of hostages running out and then police going in. They have confirmed they used live ammunition. We heard... We're hearing... So we're... We heard that first round of gunfire and then there was a break and now there has been a second round. And we are just trying to firm up exactly what is happening down on the scene at the moment. But you can hear an alarm is ringing paramedics again running in? The, the paramedics have definitely gone inside that cafe now. So, just before we said this appears to be, someone's being carried away there. We can see a woman, a victim being carried out, a woman being carried down the street, obviously being injured in some way. I don't think we should jump to any conclusions, but has obviously been injured. I've been quite severe distress there too. Very upset. This is, has been a harrowing ordeal for these people. It's been going for... We are into the 17th into hour. Into the 17th so more hour. more than 16 hours. And for it to end after 2am in such circumstances with the gunfire and the grenades and, and, and everything going off, those people would be in absolute shock, Natalia. They have been in this situation for more than 16 hours. They have had been held at gunpoint... Uh, they have been through such a terrifying situation and now for police to go in with guns drawn and gunfire, you can't even imagine what they must be going through. We know that a number of hostages have now been released. We do not know exactly mm. if there is anyone left in the building, mm. but we know police are in there. And we do believe that at the moment paramedics are working on somebody. It appears as though they, they might be being resuscitated in and around the vicinity of that Lint Cafe, we're not sure who that person is at this stage, but...
that does appear as though that's happening as we speak. So we did see the paramedics go in, Natalia, and it was quite obvious that this has not ended totally peacefully. The way the police have gone in there and confirmed that they've used gunfire, I think it's quite a shocking end. And, and many people were believing this could come to a peaceful resolution. In fact, a lot of those terrorism experts we spoke to around the world believed it could finish peacefully because of the way things have, have panned out and the way the police have handled it. But that is obviously not the case. And it all happened so fast after those six hostages. The, Laura Tunstall's told us she heard the bang. Next thing you know, six hostages came out the side door. Next thing you know, a seventh hostage appeared to run up the street. Next thing you know, police moved in position, went in, and there was gunfire and noise. And now we're seeing paramedics moving into position. We've counted maybe eight or nine have come out, nine we've counted tonight that we think have come out on we top think. of the five earlier, and we've seen paramedics go in. So that is the situation as we speak at 20 past 2 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. We can just see them going off with a stretcher there. We're not sure exactly who is on there or what is happening, but police, police are going in with a stretcher. But we are going to replay the initial storming by the police when those heavily armed officers went inside the building. Here it is. Have a listen. As you can hear, and as we've been told, live ammunition was used, along with stun grenades, and the police the have entered the, the building. The I think you can, Please get back you can see, Please get we're back just going back to live road. pictures now. You can see the two distinct colours. You can see the lighter colour was when they threw the stun grenades in. Someone's someone being, being taken away on mm. a stretcher there. And uh, a lot of, as that person is being taken away on a stretcher, it seems and to be a large group of police are now exiting the building. And that definitely didn't look like the perpetrator who was being taken away on the stretcher. That definitely looked like one of the hostages being taken away. So we can only hope and pray that that, that okay. person and that all of the hostages inside there are fine. We're just watching you the police in now. There's an, a, another stretcher. With a person on, on there. This stretcher here just appears to have gear Medical on it. Equipment. Mm. Looks like it's going inside as we speak. So we can see a number of people there have been taken away on stretchers. They do appear to be uh, some of the hostages. Others have, have walked away, have run away from this situation. We are just hoping that everyone is OK. Uh, this was just a frightening situation that unfolded very, very short time ago in Martin Place. All was quiet, uh, all seemed to be under control, and then police went in and they, uh, they went in hard. And they certainly did, and, and, and we've been talking about the noises. The noises were, they were quite dramatic. We might just watch the storming again, and then, and then at the end we might talk about the two different sounds and the two different yeah. light flashes that go on. So what we think has happened here, Natalia, we'll go back to live pictures. What we think has happened here is that the police have moved into position. They've decided to storm the cafe in light of what had happened over the preceding minute or two, which was the fact that seven hostages came out and obviously there were things going on inside. It appears that they might have used a shotgun to blow the hinges off that big door. Then they've gone in and the police have confirmed to us they've used live ammunition, they've used gunfire, they've gone in with gunfire and then you can see the other tactical response officers throwing in uh, like stun, stun grenades. grenades and you can hear them 
They sound like gunfire, but they're stun grenades, and they are used to completely, totally, and utterly disorientate the perpetrator. And gonna, with the flashing lights and everything. There's as flashing well. lights. There's all sorts of things going on, and, and he wouldn't have known where he was. But disturbingly, since the storming of the Lint Cafe, we've seen paramedics move in quite dramatically. We've seen at least one, possibly two people on a stretcher. We've definitely Absolutely. seen one lady on a stretcher and it doesn't appear that any of the people on the stretches were the gunman. Here it is again. Listening to that gunfire.